just wanted to cover some areas that ground crews had been in before. Um, there was just difficulty getting in further into a swampy area. After his shift on Saturday, Conservation Officer Rob McDermott took the department's new drone to Hampstead in the area John Matson was last seen. He knew, based on where all the evidence pointed, that Mr. Matson had to be in that dense swamp area somewhere and use the time to search while training on the new drone. I knew I was running out of time with the window. Uh, the leaves are coming in right now. So uh, with the weather that we were having on Sunday and also today, I knew that it were kind of our chances for, for searching were dwindling. It took about an hour and a half before a white pair of shoes caught his attention. That's what Mr. Matson was last seen wearing. After reviewing his footage, he was confident the skeletal remains found were what they've been looking for. When I originally uh, identified Mr. Matson's body, I, I had a hard time believing it. The mystery of John Matson uh, has troubled this community in this family for the last 292 days and without uh, Officer McDermott coming out and launching his drone, uh, I don't know if we would have ever found him. It's not the outcome anyone who helped with the search wanted, but all hope that nearly 300 days later, it can offer closure to the Matson family. It really speaks to what New Hampshire is all about and I'm just glad we were able to finally get some answers for the Matson family. And Fish and Game and the Hampstead Police Department are confident this is John Matson. They've sent those remains to the state's medical examiner for confirmation. We're live in Concord. Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.